In this Circa tutorial, I'm going to take you through how we can style a Circa plot once we have made it. So let's open up Circa. And I'm going to continue off of the tutorial one that I was making last time, which is the one where we had one of each type of layer. And we get our warnings again here. So let's start by doing some global styling on the whole Circa plot. So we have this hierarchy here, and I'm going to click on Circa plot. Then I'm going to show you how we can change the background. And let's for fun change the background to black. We can also change the color scheme. I like dark rainbow when I put it on a black background. It looks really good. But we could also go in here and actually change individual colors. So if I wanted to highlight chromosome 9, for instance, I could make this one a different color. Like, let's make it white. And so that's going to show up right there. All right, so notice that this colors all of the labels, but it also affects all of our other layers here. So we have our rectangle, scatter plot, line plot, area chart, text, and the connections in the middle. All right, so now that we have this, let's talk about how we can color individual tracks. If I wanted to change the background color here, let's say to white, then it'll look like this, but I probably just want to keep the background colors matching for now. But know that you can change any of them that you want to. We can also change the height of the track. Um, so let's make the labels on the outside take up 15% of the plot instead of just 10%. So now they're a little bigger. We can also go and modify the labels themselves. So this is what's actually plotted in the layer. We can change the colors here. So if we wanted all of the labels to be pink, then we could make that happen. But I'm going to stick to rainbow because that's kind of the point, is to make them look pretty. All right, we can decide to show or hide the text, and we can change the text color. So if we wanted all of the text to be a different color, we could make that happen. Again, I'm going to keep white. The defaults here are meant to look very nice, but I can make them a little bigger. Let's try a text size of 20, and that's going to make our chromosomes just about the labels will fill up the chromosome size here. So let's leave it at that and let's look at the second track. So this one we have the rectangles and we also have all the outlines which we can also mess with but the rectangles let's say that we want all of these to be a nice blue color. If you're looking at different types of variants you could have a track with blue deletions and a track with red insertions, for instance. So let's make those blue and I can make them a little thicker. So we can make it two. So now they're a little bigger, so it's easy to see if you want to really highlight them. We can also change how the outlines look, but they look really good with the rainbow already. So we're going to leave it at that. And so this is how our track looks now. Let's move on to the scatter plot. Here we can change the dot size. So if we wanted to make the dots a little smaller, we can do that. If we want to make them a little bigger, we can do that too. We can also change the color here. So let's make them pink. This is not necessarily going to be a very pretty plot. You can also at any time change the size or the color or anything back to its default. And so if I click on the buttons here, I can reset them whenever I want but I'll make this a nice pink color. So that's that layer. All right, so for the lines, we can also do similar things, change the lines, change what they look like. We can do yellow for those. So now that we have the lines, I also want to show you how we can actually add an X axis here if we wanted to. So we can add a horizontal line. And once we add that, it is going to show up anywhere that we want it to. I'll make it white so it's really visible for us. And so you can see there's a white line here down at the bottom. And the line is automatically going to be set at zero, but you can set it to anything you want and that can depend on the line chart that you're making, or a scatter plot or an area chart, anything that has a Y value. We can look at the track and look at what the Y scale is. And so this gets added to the track. So if you're plotting multiple things, you can actually plot lines, area charts, scatter plots, several of them within a single track. But the scale of the y-axis is going to be the same no matter what. 
And so this one, we have it starting at a thousand because that's the minimum for our data. And I'm gonna set the maximum to 10,000 just to round it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take our horizontal line and let's say instead of having it at zero, I'm gonna start it at 4,000. So now we'll be able to see whenever the line chart goes above that horizontal line. If we wanna make the line a little more obvious, we can make it bigger, we can change the color, we can make it red so it really looks like a dangerous threshold or something. And so that's different ways that you can style that. So now if you look at this track, we actually have a line, we have outlines, and we have the horizontal line. And you can also add other things. You can actually add a scatter plot on top of the line chart if you wanted to. Uh, looking at the area chart, we can do similar things. We could also add a horizontal line here if we wanted to. That's pretty good. That's just at zero. We can make it white like that. And again, we can set it to anything we want. The area chart can also be colored in any way. We can make this one turquoise. Uh, area charts are kind of funny because the way that they're drawn, they'll have outlines that go all the way, and then they'll have an area that just covers the inside of where the data actually goes to. So if you wanted to, you can style those separately. So we can make the tips of the area chart red and the body of it, the area itself, be blue. And so that's what this looks like. And that can give you some pretty cool effects. So moving on to the text layer, we can in here, of course, change the text size. If I wanna make it super tiny, I can do that. And I can also change the color if I wanna make it a little different, like white, we can do that. As always, we can always reset to defaults. And there you go. So now this is how you can style all the layers in your Circa plot in different ways. And you can see that it's extremely flexible and customizable. So that is how you style every element of a Circo's plot in Circa. Whether you wanna change the look of the plot to make it prettier or actually use the colors to convey information, all the power is in your hands.